The Panhandle Health District is reporting Idaho's first death from the flu for the 2014-2015 season. A woman over the age of 65 in Kootenai County died from complications associated with the flu. It's not only the first flu-related death, but also the first confirmed influenza case in the state of Idaho this season. And KXOI 4's Grace Ditzler working for you. She joins me now in the newsroom. And uh, Grace, don't know if this is a sign of what the season is gonna be like, but uh, not a good thing. Right, Nadine, it's officially flu season, and lately many people have been worried about the enterovirus, and with good reason, as there is currently no specific treatment for it. But the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is hoping all the talk about the enterovirus will help raise awareness about another serious virus, influenza, or the flu. With almost 700 cases of enterovirus that have been confirmed from mid-August to now, the numbers are small compared to the flu. According to the Panhandle Health District, the flu infects 5 to 20% of people every year and causes more than 200,000 hospitalizations across the country and kills up to 30,000 to 40,000 Americans every year. Health officials say there's no reason not to get a flu shot, but less than half of the people in our country get vaccinated. And infants and the elderly are especially at risk for complications associated with the flu. Symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue, and sometimes a cough and sore throat. We really want to get as many people vaccinated against influenza as possible. And the flu vaccines are out um, in doctor's offices and pharmacies and so forth already this season. And here are some tips for protecting yourself from the flu in addition to getting the vaccination. Wash your hands with soap often or use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue and throw away the tissue immediately. Droplets from a sneeze can travel up to six feet. And stay home when you're sick and don't go back to work until 24 hours after a fever is gone. And a reminder that flu shots are available at many area pharmacies and doctor's offices and is often free with insurance plans. The vaccine takes two weeks to become effective, so health officials say getting the shot earlier is better. Reporting in studio, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News. All good.